To evaluate zero divided by two or five divided by zero, that would be the same thing as evaluating zero over two or five over zero. Keep in mind, if we read a book, we read from left to right and also work our way down the page. That's why when my eyes move across the page, I say zero divided by two, but also as my eyes move down the page, I also say zero divided by two. Ultimately, to answer either one of these, we need to take a look at a simpler example. An example like 10 divided by two. This is something you think of the answer without much thought. 10 over two is equal to five, of course. But let's stop and think about why the answer is five. We're really saying how many twos does it take to make 10? It takes five twos to make 10, which is why 10 divided by two is five. Let's try wording zero divided by two the same way. How many twos does it take to make zero? We need zero twos to make zero. So zero divided by two is zero. Zero divided by any number is equal to zero. Let's reword five divided by zero in the same way. That really says, how many zeros does it take to make a five? Well, no matter how many nothings I give you, we are never going to get to five. It's impossible, which is why the answer is undefined. A number divided by zero is always undefined. You might not want to have to stop and think, how many of a denominator does it take to make a numerator each and every time? So just picture this silly device here. OK, if you use your imagination, looks like zero divided by a number. So anytime you have zero divided by a number, it is okay, meaning you will get a numerical answer. Zero divided by a number is zero. Okay, if you use your imagination again, then you might see no. N divided by no is like a number divided by zero. If you try to divide a number by zero, no, you're not going to get an answer. It is undefined. Anytime you have a number divided by zero, it's undefined. Dinja, dinja, dividing by zero, the kablooey factor. <laughs>